Hey, what is up today, art peeps? I got a brand new video for you guys right here. The girl with the pearl ear. And I'm gonna do a little step-by-step -step on that. Um, and how cool is it that I got the picture right here? This is one of my old art scholastic um, posters that are still hanging up on my room. So her gaze is kind of staring at my kids during class. We'll talk about a little bit of the history of it, um, but I'm gonna get it started right as I get going on here. Before we get started too much, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. My new videos, videos come out every single week, and usually on Saturday mornings I drop a new video, so make sure to click the bell icon for that to get all the latest new videos. So let's get started on here. I'm gonna have my sheet of paper up and down since she is a little bit more vertical. I'm gonna do this a little bit similar if you haven't seen my Mona Lisa uh, picture before, the Mona Lisa. Um, being pretty similar to the Mona Lisa, I'm gonna do it in a similar style to that one. About, about probably the size of your hand in the middle, and I, as I said, going up and down um, for this one versus sideways, I think will work the best. Let's start this with a shape kind of going down. A nice shape going down, and then kind of jets back up over here. So kind of a nice scoop line, almost, I guess kind of almost like an L shape but kind of goes down and then back up in there. And then this part goes right across and I'll kind of curve over there. So after I did that lightly, I can go through that a little bit darker. I got that shape pretty good. So as much as it looks like a candy corn or kind of a, a light, little, little lopsided rock, rock. Um, that'll be her face shape. And then really what bumps out from there really is kind of the headdress part or that kind of wrap that will kind of flap around and then come back over here. And then there's really another one from there. And then even another one on the top that eventually starts to come down. When that comes down, it really kind of sets almost like these kind of rectangles on the bottom kind of part, or these kind of rectangles are kind of that headdress that kind of wraps down. Um, important to think about also where that neck lines up. So the neck really kind of bumps out on one side and then back on the other, kind of fits into this little gap over here. Still understanding that there's a little bit of space in there so as I go through those a little bit darker again I'm just trying to set up some basic proportions to kind of get an idea for how everything sets up on the page again I want to put it about the size of my hand so I'll go through that a little bit darker now that I got some of those shapes starting to do it like that collar part so I wanted to add almost it's almost like a rectangle so it kind of goes from here and then stops over here and then comes back so a little rectangle here and then dips down a little bit but then comes right back up with kind of like a big arch because um, that's really I guess her shoulder and like a lot of her drapery is over here almost very similar to kind of the Mona Lisa um, how she has all those kind of garments and um, clo clothing or cloth that's kind of wrapped on her as well so I, I think I got a pretty pretty good setup um, I added a, I, I made sure that this definitely bumped in a little bit because I think that's where her kind of eye will set in and it's definitely a little bit at an angle. So when I do that first eye, I wanna just do it nice and light, but I wanna hit the arch on top and then also for the other side over here, I wanna make sure that they're kinda of at an angle on that side because I know that that eyebrow really comes and slopes and then kind of slopes from there even. So I wanna make sure I hit those things lightly and then I can go over it a little bit darker. All right, so as we're talking about the eyes, let's get back to those kind of that curve line on the top and then slope that down with an also kind of curve line that goes under. Same thing down here. It kind of comes out from that corner and then right up to there. Eyes will definitely be kind of on, on this uh, right side of the 
I. That kind of gives her the appearance that she's looking kind of over this way, so you can kind of fill in that circle in there, except for you can leave a little bit of white in there. That'll make it look a little bit more realistic. In there. And we'll go over, over that with Sharpie also. For the nose, as we finish up, I want to still add kind of a little bit of a curve on this side. You can kind of stretch that down a little bit and up a little bit. Give a little bit of a hint on the side over here. And then for the lips, um, you want to kind of draw down from the eyes so they kind of line up with the eyes about that width but it's basically gonna go kind of like an M and then it bumps over to that one and then kind of a sloped line for the underneath part of it. That middle really kind of stretches out from here except it kind of dips down because it's almost open a little bit. So you want to leave a little bit of that part open in there since it looks like, like I said, that she's almost just ready to talk. So it kind of has that really open part in the middle of there. So I think we got pretty much all the details except for the most important one, as I have my picture here, of that pearl earring. So right over on that corner, I wanna bring that wrap over here and then make sure that that slope, that bottom part of the ear, kind of has that curve and then curves up in there. You can put a little line on the inside and then that pearl earring really comes down and almost comes onto her neck part of it and then kind of brings back in there. So we got a lot of that, especially, you know, since she's the girl with the pearl earring, you want to make sure that give her a little dot on there and then slope it all the way down here so that earring really stands out in there. So I like how it looks. I'm going to go over in Sharpie real quick. So let's go through that now. All right, so there she is, the girl with the pearl earring by Johannes Vermeer. I, of course, um, just like my Mona Lisa, I will leave it like this for right now, but of course, I gotta fill up the background. And this is basically like a coloring kind of sheet that you can take and you can kind of invent your own background. You can make here different colors, um, different skin tones. You choose whatever that you wanna do from here. Um, I'm gonna try to pay homage to great uh, Johannes Vermeer um, and his painting, so I'm gonna color it with colored pencils and I might do a little crayon for the background. So let's go through that real fast.
All right, you guys ready for this? Here All it right, is. You guys ready for this? Here it is. Bam! There it is. I thought it turned out really, really good. I have literally been working on this for like three weeks, kind of going through different um, pictures. I seriously have like three or four different ones on here that I've tried to do, and it just hasn't turned out as good as that. So I really, really tried hard on this. So hopefully you guys appreciate it, and hopefully you guys can follow along step by step with some of those good ones. Um, definitely you can tell some of the color pencils that I used on here, but really some of the quality that you can get from just regular color pencils, you know, and crayons, um, you'd kind of be surprised. Um, really nothing special. I guess the most special thing I probably used is my um, jumbo black crayon that I used, but a couple skin tones in there also. So Hopefully you guys like it. As always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Johannes Vermeer's Girl with the Pearl Earring, and I am Mr. Shooty, and we will talk to you guys later.